This week's biggest headlines on business and financial news. Here are some of the news that you should not miss. 1. How e Naira will affect banking sector economists. Economists have said that the e Naira, when rolled out, will have far reaching implications for the future of the banking sector in Nigeria. The experts, in separate interviews, said whether the launch would be salutary or destabilizing would depend on how it is implemented. 2. FIRS to partner EFCC on tax-related issues. A zonal coordinator of the Federal Inland Revenue Service covering rivers, Edo and Delta states, Hamisu Ibrahim has described the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission as a critical stakeholder on tax-related issues. 3. 10 Things to Know About Charges on eNaira Platform The Central Bank of Nigeria has released guidelines on charges on eNaira Platform. This is after the launch of the application for the digital currency by the President, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired. On Monday. Here are 10 things you should know about the platform. 4. Fuel demand to hit 17.3 million MT by 2025 NNPC. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mili Kyari, has said Nigeria's demand for petroleum products is expected to grow from 15.1 million metric tons in 2020 to 17.3 million MT by 2025. Kyari said this on Tuesday at the 15th OTL Africa Downstream Week 2021 in Lagos. 5. China working to set up banks in Nigeria. Chinese ambassador. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Kui Jianchun, has said Nigerian banks will soon commence operations in China, adding that he is working hard to make this a reality. Jianchun said to boost trade and commerce between China and Nigeria, he was equally taking the necessary steps that would lead to the setting up. 6. NIPC to facilitate creation of Nigeria Chad Business Council. The Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission has pledged to work with relevant governments to set up the Nigeria Chad Joint Business Council. The NIPC made the pledge at a meeting between its management and a business delegation from the Republic of Chad, led by Nigeria's ambassador to Chad, Sadiq Abubakar, and his counterpart. 7. GTCO's quarterly profit falls to 151.91 billion nairas. Guarantee Trust Holding Company PLC has reported a profit before tax of 151.91 billion nairas for the third quarter of 2021, down 9.23% from 167.35 billion nairas in the same period of last year. The holding company for Guarantee Trust Bank Limited said its revenue dropped by 3.46% to 214.77 billion nairas in Q3 2021. 8. UBA's profit grows by 37% in three months. The United Bank for Africa PLC has reported a 37% rise in its profit before tax to 123.4 billion nairas in the third quarter of the year 2021 from 90.4 billion nairas in the same period of 2020. The company's unaudited financial statements for Q3 2021 showed that its gross earnings rose to 490.3 billion nairas from 454.4 billion nairas. 9. OYO. Others to benefit from AFDB's $520 million AGRIC scheme. The African Development Bank says it has mobilized $520 million for a program to boost farmers' productivity in eight states, including OYO, and ensure massive development in Nigeria. The president, AFDB, Mr. Akinwumi Adesina, said this on Tuesday at the OYO Agribusiness Summit 2021 held at the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, Ibadan. 10. FBN Holdings share price drops as investors take profits. The share price of FBN Holdings PLC fell by 1.2% on Tuesday, after rising by 2.45% on Monday the first trading day after it announced that Mr. Femi Otadola, a billionaire businessman, 
had acquired a 5.07% shareholding in the company. 11. Power, poor transportation, port facilities killing Nigeria's manufacturers. Adesina. The president of the African Development Bank Group, Dr. Akinwumi Adesina, says the lack of stable electricity in Nigeria is killing industries in the country, adding that based on an International Monetary Fund report, about $29 billion is lost annually due to poor power supply in Nigeria. 12. Pencom to prosecute defaulting employers, recovers 19.29 billion nairas in remitted pensions. The National Pension Commission says it has recovered 19.29 billion nairas monthly pensions deducted by employers from employees' monthly emoluments but not remitted to the retirement savings accounts with their respective pension fund administrators. Figures obtained from PENCOM's quarterly report on Tuesday showed that the recovery included unremitted contributions and sanctions. 13. Business can't survive in Nigeria without generators, says Adesina. President of the African Development Bank, Akinwumi Adesina has faulted the lack of reliable power supply as an obstacle to Nigeria's industrial growth. He said this on Tuesday at the 49th Annual General Meeting of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria in Abuja. Adesina stated that Nigerians spend $14 billion yearly on generators and fuel. 14. FBN Holdings confirms Hassan Odakale single largest shareholder, Otadola II. FBN Holdings PLC has confirmed that Mr. Tunda Hassan Odakale is the single largest shareholder in the company. A statement signed by the company's secretary, Shea Kosoko, on Wednesday confirmed that Hassan Odakale and Mr. Femi Otadola as the only shareholders with more than 5% shareholding in the company. Hassan Odakale owns 5.36%. 15. Petrol subsidy may climb to N3TN in one-year NNPC subsidiary. The Petroleum Products Marketing Company, a subsidiary of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, has said the annual subsidy on premium motor spirit, petrol, will rise to N3TN if the current market realities persist. The managing director, PPMC, Mr. Isayaku Abdullahi, said this on Wednesday at a panel session during the 15th OTL Africa Downstream Week. 16. PIA presents opportunities, challenges for oil firms NAEP. The Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists has said oil exploration and production companies must brace up for the opportunities and challenges presented by the Petroleum Industry Act. The president, NAEP, Patricia Ochabu said this at a press briefing ahead of the association's 39th annual international conference and exhibition slated for next month in Lagos. 17. Software installation delays Tin Can port scanner deployment. The Tin Can Island Area Command of the Nigeria Customs Service is yet to deploy the scanner it received over five weeks ago. It has been learned. The Area Command received the mobile scanner on September 20, 2021 to facilitate customs examination and enhance the delivery of cargoes to consignees, according to ships and ports. 18. Nigeria's oil sector governance weak, worrisome, says NRGI. The governance of the Nigerian oil and gas sector is weak, falling short in key measures of transparency and accountability. The Natural Resource Governance Institute has said. The NRGI, in its 2021 Resource Governance Index report, noted that as the largest oil and gas producer in Africa, Nigeria's production reached almost 2 million barrels per barrel. 19. WIMBIZ Advocates Leadership Role for Women The chairperson of the Executive Council of Women in Management, Business and Public Service, Ngover Ihiembe Wankwo, has said Nigeria is ripe to get a female president by 2023. Ihiembe Wankwo said this while responding to questions during a press briefing in Lagos. She said, women are long overdue, and of course, we can get the seat. 20. 
Samsung Heavy Industries get recognition. Samsung Heavy Industries Nigeria Limited says it has been nominated for the Forbes Best of Africa Energy Award in Dubai, United Arab Emirate. Shin said in a statement that it had received a notification to receive the Forbes Best of Africa Offshore Oil and Gas Facilities Development Award and to speak at the FIN, Forbes Oil. 21. Public-private sector collaboration vital to wealth creation. Dana Air has called on the federal government to focus more on public-private partnerships to achieve economic sustainability. The Dana Air Chief Executive Officer, Jackie Hathramani, made this remark during an interview with journalists at the just-concluded Nigerian Economic Summit 27 held in Abuja. He said, I quite agree with the Minister for Aviation. 22. Entrepreneurship. Solution to Poverty SMEDAN Boss. The chairman of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency, Olufemi Pedro, says entrepreneurship is the solution to rising poverty and financial insecurity among youths and women in the country. He disclosed this at the 4th Moses Oromolade Memorial Lecture organized by the Eternal Sacred Order of the Cherubim and Seraphim Church in Lagos. 23. FRC probes NNPC, banks, PFA's financial statements, summons officials, auditors. The Financial Reporting Council has said it has reviewed the infractions it found in the financial statements of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, banks, pension fund administrators and custodians. The Executive Secretary, FRC, Shuaibu Ahmed disclosed this in an interview with journalists in Abuja on Wednesday. 24. Multi-Choice Africa Rejects Tribunal Ruling, Plans Appeal. Multi-Choice Africa Holdings, the parent company of Multi-Choice Nigeria, has rejected the ruling of the Tax Appeal Tribunal, which dismissed its appeal against the $342 million value-added tax bill imposed on it by the Federal Inland Revenue Service. In a statement on Wednesday, the company said it would lodge an appeal against the ruling. 25. Transport fares rise by 41% across Nigerian cities, says NBS. The National Bureau of Statistics says the average transport fare paid by commuters across Nigeria rose by 40.56% between September 2020 and September 2021. The average transport fare paid by commuters in September 2020 was 309 nairas and 73 kobas, while the same fare went for 435 nairas and 36 kobas in September, 2021. The NBS revealed this in its transport. 26. World Bank disagrees with CBN on multiple exchange rates, others. The World Bank has said it disagrees with the Central Bank of Nigeria on how it is going about to achieve its price stabilization objective. The country director for Nigeria, World Bank, Shubham Choudhury, said this in an exclusive interview with our correspondent. 27. Cooking gas price hike threatens domestic market. The chief executive officer of Ecogas Energy Resources Limited, Chief Sheena Luwoy, has said the surge in the price of liquefied petroleum gas, cooking gas, in Nigeria is a threat to the domestic market, which has seen significant growth in consumption in recent years. Luoy attributed the price hike to the introduction of 7.5 percent. 28. Reps quiz NHIS over unutilized 2020 budgetary allocation. House of Representatives, Wednesday interrogated the Executive Secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS, Professor Mohamed Sambo asking him to account. 29. Why Nigeria bonds remain attractive to investors, Minister. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said that Nigeria's debt instruments have remained attractive. 30. Why FG's recording capital expenditure revenue mismatch? Finance Minister. The federal government has disclosed why capital expenditure, capex does not rise at the same pace with revenue. 31. 
AFDB backs Nigeria's moves on gas as transitional fuel. African Development Bank, AFDB has backed Nigeria's advocacy to halt plans to defund gas projects, just as the global community moves. 32. FBN Holdings appoints Namdi Okonkwo GMD, effective January 1, 2022. The board of FBN Holdings PLC has approved the appointment of Mr. Namdi Okonkwo as its new group managing director, with effect from January 1. 32. Pencom unfolds non-interest fund for pension contributors, retirees. The National Pension Commission, Pencom, has announced its introduction of a non-interest fund for pension contributors and retirees. 33. How FG will achieve economic recovery, growth plan, Osinbanjo. The federal government, hinted Friday, that it intends to achieve its economic recovery and growth. Remember to check the reference address links below to read the full details. Connect with me via WhatsApp, plus 234-703-247-4726, for more interesting videos.